The new Tournament of Power poster revealing Goku in the background potentially tapping into a brand new form has now officially been revealed and today we're going to dive into the comment section of my Goku transforming into a new level video to see what exactly the community had to say in regards to what Goku is doing in this poster and as translated by GovitaXV on Twitter and Herms98, it looks like it's translated in terms of the text on the poster and saying the work of the gods comes to an end. What could this possibly be we're gonna go on ahead and dive down below to see what exactly you guys had to say so post your comments down below if you guys have any theories or if you have any comments to add as to what Goku is doing so without wasting any time let's go ahead and dive on down below hopefully Vegeta catches up or gets his own unique transformation Vegeta give up bro well here's the thing about Vegeta I don't think that Vegeta is going to catch up within the tournament of power I don't think it's logical nor would it make sense for Vegeta to also break past his limits however I do also want to say that if Goku is able to break past his limits then why can't Vegeta so I think that down the line Vegeta may do the same thing but it pertains to what's happening right now I don't think that Vegeta is going to be anywhere near Goku's level uh, you know shit's about to go down when Goku is doing Akuma's pose that is absolutely true. I will push him this far. Well, Jiren the Grey is the guy that I think is going to be the, the one responsible for pushing Goku and battle damaging him and having him, you know, go as far as transforming further. And I want to know down below, guys, your overall thoughts on Goku's hair because uh, you get to see a little bit of shading of gray and white in there. So I want to ask you guys what that may be if it's just, you know, regular, uh, regular coloring from like the background or whatnot, or if this is an actual symbol to where Goku's going to be tapping further into possibly having a white hair form everything is right now is speculation so i want to know your thoughts down below true super saiyan god form or maybe perfected super saiyan blue kaioken see the idea goes as far as goku mastering super saiyan blue while embedding kaioken within his body now that i think that would be a great idea because ki would not be leaking from his body if this were to occur so goku would be the first of his kind among the saiyans at least to not only embed the god essence and the god key from super saiyan blue within his body in sealing that off similar to the manga but also taking what kaioken is and perfecting that finally as goku was never able to do that before grand priest versus zeno evil that's one fight i want to see well i'm sorry to say but that's one fight you will not get super saiyan god blue kaioken times 20 seems like it based on the aura i think that it's super saiyan god too well, uh, the only reason why I don't think that is because uh, he's going to look different. So, um, it pertains to what the form may resemble in terms of color, in terms of outline. So, if it was Super Saiyan God 2, I think that they would have already showcased it a little bit and seeing like the one hair strain coming down and his hair having to be different. But, of course, um, they're not keeping the blue logo anymore. Like, they're not keeping the blue outline. So, this could be something different. Uh, like it always, I'm sure uh, he will gain a mass amount of strength stronger or the same as Jiren but because he wasted energy before he transcends he will ultimately lose and someone will come and uh, come in and beat Jiren okay so this guy cosmic lags believes that someone else is going to come on in and defeat Jiren due to the idea that Goku has wasted his energy before he transcends now see this is not a bad theory because thus far we know that Goku will use Super Saiyan Blue throughout the tournament so yeah maybe he gets beat out of the form maybe his form pretty much uh just lags out i would say and just in, like in the idea that you know he no longer can sustain the form so i can definitely see super saiyan blue burning out because he doesn't have any more energy left but then i mean how do you explain him tapping into this new like power it doesn't make any sense but i do agree he will gain a massive amount of energy uh and probably be stronger or if not as strong as jiren I really hope that Jiren definitely still brings the firepower against Goku, but until that time, we're going to have to wait and see. Bro, come on. Goku gets a new level. Let Gohan get a new level. Let Vegeta get a new level. Uh, the fuck? I'm tired of Goku being dick-ridden everywhere. Okay, well, uh, someone just said, uh, the real BY, I know, uh, I know right there how much they show attention to the main character. Well, Goku is the main character of the show. I mean, this is the Goku show, so I do agree. They ought to give Gohan a new form. They ought to give Vegeta a new, a new form, but this is, Go this is Goku's time. This is Goku's time to shine. He was the one that requested for this tournament to even begin, so it only makes sense for Goku to be the one to break past his limits since he was the one that asked for this tournament in the first place. Uh, his hair needs to stay in that position. Okay, so we have someone who believes 
that he shouldn't change his hair. Fun fact, transformed into his unlock potential mystic. No, I don't think that Goku is going to have a quote-unquote mystic form. I think that Goku is going to have a form that transcends beyond Super Saiyan Blue. However, it's not his potential unleashed. Because if that was the case, the Elder Kai would have sat down with him and unlocked his form. So no, I don't think this is potential unleashed. Where can we buy the poster? I'm sure it's going to be made available um, like in, in the next couple of weeks once they announce more of like uh, shipment processes and like where you can get it. But I'm pretty sure if you follow Toei and, and, and Funimation and whatnot, all these companies and whatnot, uh, I'm sure that down the line they're going to give some more uh, information as to where to get it and how to get it. RIP Vegeta, LOL. Yes, RIP Vegeta, man. Because right now, le 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 like legitimately speaking, Vegeta isn't anywhere near Goku's level. So... Can we get a hashtag RIP Vegeta? I love Vegeta, but damn, man. I mean, they're, they're just crapping on him. Okay, so I hope this, uh, this, uh, this akin, I, I don't know what this is. I hope this akin, uh, to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 2, keep in theme and level power-ups. Okay, so, uh, if it's not bound to mythical techniques. Well, what you're saying here is you want to see Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 2, or Super Saiyan Blue 2. Um, everyone wants to see that. Everyone even wants to see Super Saiyan Blue 3. It's not going to happen. So whatever this form is, you can best expect that it's not going to be Super Saiyan God 2 or Super Saiyan Blue 2, but instead something entirely different. Vegeta, I guess. I will just let let this uh, hold. Uh, I, I guys, I your spelling is just off, man. Jesus Christ. Goku greater than Beerus after this form. Uh, see, this is this is the debate right here. Goku stronger than Beerus. Do you guys think? That Goku is going to be stronger than Beerus after he transforms into this form. That's what I want to know from you guys. Um, hopefully enough, he's not. But I think that, to be honest, after Goku taps into this, he will be stronger than Beerus. Now, that's whether or not you guys agree or disagree. But I think that after everything is said and done, Goku, logically speaking, has to be ahead of Beerus. If not, that'll be a complete ass pull as to how powerful Beerus is. I mean, this guy's like immortal at that point. It's like, how the hell do you get, how, how, how strong is he and how the hell can he be, be you know? Uh, since this poster was released, by which episode uh, this form will be revealed? I believe by the end of July. No, I believe by August. I think sometime during August, mid-August, late August, we're going to see this form. Uh, so far in July, we understand that it's going to be the episodes following Krillin, Kale, the leader of the Pride Troopers, Topo, and uh, having to have uh, uh, like another episode specifically focusing on the team itself having to be in trouble. So no, I don't think by the end of July, I think it's going to go down in August. Super Saiyan 4, lol, I wish. No, it's not Super Saiyan 4, so you guys can go ahead and forget that. To be honest, Vegeta deserves a new form more like Goku. Goku done nothing to deserve this. See, we don't know if Goku did anything to begin with. So for anyone out there to say, well, Goku did nothing to deserve this, Goku's trash, my rebuttal to you is, how do you know what Goku did? You know, for all we know, Goku could have done intense training prior to all this in him having to achieve this brand new limit breaking form. So I think that he does deserve it, but does Vegeta deserve it more? Probably. I mean, just to a degree where, you know, it finally puts Vegeta ahead, but we're gonna have to wait and see what Vegeta does if Vegeta also can break through his, you know, limits in achieving something higher as well. Looks like Fall Super Saiyan from the Lorik Slug movie. Yes, it does. Uh, but keep in mind that that poster is just a resemblance of Goku, you know, uh, trying to tap into it. So I'm pretty sure he powers down all the way. And then finally, the moment of truth where he finally just, you know, beefs up his power. Uh, maybe that's the Saiyan Beerus was dreaming of. Well, that could be the case. And if that does end up being the case, then they should have a rematch, like legitimately speaking. Why can't Goku just go Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue too? Well, the thing is, I'm pretty sure it's not that easy to achieve, and I can already see based on your on your uh, profile picture that you also have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan 2, or Super Saiyan Blue 2, and I think that it's not an it's not as easy as a uh, as a, as a level to achieve. So I think that with that being said, it's best if they do achieve a new level entirely just to showcase the true powers of what Super Saiyan God can really do within their bodies. Not saying it would be cool uh, if he had another form, but he's starting to have a lot of forms. Yes, you're right. I mean, let's go on ahead and look at the track record. We have uh, we have Kaioken base, 
We have Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and now this. That's seven forms. If you want to count GT, eight forms. So it's like, Jesus, Goku has like the most amount of forms, I think, more so than anyone else in the series. And that's saying something right there. Goku can probably beat Superman with this. Oh boy. Okay, so we have some Superman versus Goku uh, comments going on here. If you guys think Goku can beat Superman, let me know. If you guys think that Superman can still beat Goku, let me know down below. It's Ultimate Goku ripping off Gohan this time. I don't think so. It's not going to be Ultimate Goku or Mystic Goku, so I do have high hopes that it's something different. However, you may be right because you, we, 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 really, we, we, we can't really predict uh, what's going to happen in the show. But uh, I, I don't think it's going to be Ultimate Goku. I don't know why people are saying that. Just because his hair is black. Uh, it's going to be Super Saiyan 4. Oh my fucking god. Dragon Ball GT lore. No. No. It's not going to be Dragon Ball GT. Uh, don't don't buy into any other you know person's bullshit when they tell you that. I mean, I mean Super Saiyan 4. It's not canon. It's not canon. So I don't see any reason for Super Saiyan 4 to be introduced. Or Goku finally achieves a certain state of mind. Which increases his power greater uh, than him training his body like Jiren did. Yes. That could be the case. Mental concentration, physical mental abilities to where it perfects his heightened senses and uh, he actually is able to maintain himself greater than how he would in a transform like state. So, yes, I, I do agree. This might be the case. I do think that, you know, this might be something greater than how his body's being trained. However, we're going to have to wait and see because I'm pretty sure Jiren had done physical training as well. I mean, just looking at the guy is just like just in, like in sheer amazement. But um, I, I would have to agree. It has to be pure mental concentration for him to do this. Let's go ahead and scroll more down just to see what you guys had to say. Uh, this is terrible. Oh my god, we don't need new forms. This is shitty writing. This will break super for me if he gains a new form. <clears throat> okay, so meme SSJG says that this is bad. Okay, well... To counter this with you, I would say that yes, uh, they do have one too many forms. However, Super Saiyan Blue has become the default form for Goku and Vegeta in this show. So what they need to do, ultimately enough, is break that fourth wall in achieving something higher. Because Super Saiyan God, the original red form, doesn't really count anymore. It's been retconned. So, you know, even though we've only seen the form once in the anime and several times in the manga... You know, it just goes to show that it still isn't really utilized to the T because Super Saiyan Blue is, is placed above Super Saiyan God. So, you know, for them to scratch that off and put something even above Super Saiyan Blue, they're going to be giving us this. Now, we don't know what this is. We don't know how it's achieved. But if you were to give it a chance just to see what this is like, maybe you'll like it and maybe you won't. Who knows? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. I mean, this is going to be lit. Uh, at this race, Superman won't be able to touch Goku by the time Dragon Ball Super is done. Another Superman versus Goku comment, guys. Comment down below. Superman or Goku on this one? Uh, he has a bit more hair than his base form. Well, I mean, that's because I think that he's trying to ascend further. But then again, I, I think that certain people forgot what uh, Goku's, you know, back of the head looks like. I mean, it's, it's not that hard to figure out. But I think that um, he, he does look like he has a little bit more hair. But I, he's he's clearly transcending into something more here. If you remember back to the Battle of Gods arc, Beerus had a dream of a Super Saiyan God. In a little flashback scene, a Saiyan was seen with the exact same aura as Goku in this poster. And in the new opening scene to Super, Goku is finally going to ascend to a new level. Goku will tap into his hidden potential and finally master his Saiyan God form. The red aura in Dragon Ball Super intro scene is the same as Beerus' dream. That may be the case. This might be the very person that Beerus dreamt about because people tend to have forgotten that. And I think personally for me, it would be amazing to even see Goku be the one to, uh, you know, having to, having to be the guy that Beerus dreamt about. Um, however, we're going to have to wait and see what happens with Beerus. If Beerus kind of recognizes the dream and saying to himself, holy crap, I've seen this before. That's him. That's, that's, that's the form I was fighting. That's the Goku I was fighting in my dream. So that may be the case, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens when Goku fights Jiren. I can't wait to see what happens. I can't either, man. Bruh, Goku is doing some damn Akuma pose. Yeah, he's doing the Akuma pose. But don't forget, that's also the traditional Dragon Ball Z pose when he first became a Super Saiyan. Looks like false Super Saiyan, but uh, it could I could be wrong. Uh, and he not even transformed yet. And all he's doing is charging or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all he's doing is charging up. So, 
We don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, bullshit is the only thing breaking uh, his limits because Goku uh, gets two transformations in Dragon Ball Super, but Vegeta gets none. Like, what the fuck? By the way, I'm not hating on Goku, it's just the fact that Vegeta trains more than Goku and achieves nothing. Well, here's the thing. So far, Goku was training with Whis, he was training with, you know, uh, other people, fighting hit and whatnot this entire time, trying to get better. Uh, Vegeta has become more of a father figure, so I agree. Goku is always getting new forms, but you can't say that Vegeta got nothing because Vegeta got Super Saiyan Blue. So, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Vegeta did get one form, that being Super Saiyan Blue. Um, but I agree, I think that Vegeta ought to get something for once because, you know, it, it just can't be the Goku show all year, all, like, all year round. It has to be, you know, uh, like, uh, like an element involving other characters just to see where they stand, you know? But I, I mean, I agree. I think that Vegeta should get something else. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens with Goku on this one. Let's go ahead and scroll more down here to see what people say. Uh, only if Raikon was an actual character in Dragon Ball. Yeah, man, I mean, my character would have been dominant as hell. He would have made this tournament that much more enjoyable. Uh, that, this looks pretty cool. The last time I remember Goku having his clothes torn was uh, in the fight with Frieza on Namek. If Goku becomes Super Saiyan God 4, things would be crazy. What? Uh, but that post looks pretty awesome. Maybe Goku can really uh, become Super Saiyan White. What? Super Saiyan White? Either way, it got me more hyped uh, for the tournament. Well, you're talking about Super Saiyan God 4. You're talking about Super Saiyan White. Um, whatever this is, I mean, you could be right. You could be wrong. Who knows? Because uh, we, we don't even know ourselves as to what this is. But I think that it's not Super Saiyan God 4. It's not Super Saiyan White. I think that it's going to be something involving either black hair or red hair. But we're going to have to wait and see. Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue versus Kale Legendary Super Saiyan, call it. Um, Super Saiyan Blue smashes, bro, easy. This is too predictable, why does it have to be Goku? Is Goku alone uh, have everything to lose? Well, um, Goku has everything to lose, but he also has lots to gain as well. I mean, once he taps into this limit-breaking form, who knows how powerful he may become. Um, I just personally think that, yes, it is a little too predictable, but once he taps into this form, who knows? Maybe he may be, he he may get ringed out by Jiren. I mean, anything is possible at this point, right? Mystic Goku, I disagree. I don't think it's Mystic Goku. And Vegeta falls behind again. I agree. Just when you thought Vegeta and Goku were evenly matched until we saw Kaioken, finally, of course, Vegeta falls back yet again. That sucks, man. It would be very, very epic to see the Hakaishin's reaction when Goku transforms, like when he transforms into the blue form in front of them, and maybe they, some, they say something like, this is Son, this is, this Son Goku guy always surprises us with his power. Also, can't wait to see Beerus' reaction on that. Yes, I mean, Beerus' reaction is going to be one that I cannot wait for, because I, I want to see Beerus talk about, like, wow, like, Goku got that strong, like, now it's time for me to test my powers against him, you know? Um... Because I want to see Goku versus Beerus one more time. But I agree, I can't. I cannot wait to see the Hakaishin's reaction. But until then, it is going to be epic. I mean, I'm just curious as to how he taps into this. Let's go ahead and scroll more down here. Uh, let's see, Master Super Saiyan God. Yes, it could be the case, but we already saw that in the manga. So let's just see what happens there. He's stealing Gohan's form. How is that? I mean, how is he stealing Gohan's form? Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken, plus Mystic. Where are you people getting Mystic from? It's not Mystic. The Elder Kai didn't unlock his power, so like, how is that even possible? Uh, probably Kaioken uh, with the God form. It could be. False Super Saiyan God. Uh, that doesn't make any sense because, I mean, he already has Super Saiyan God power, so why would it be false? Sorry, Goku went Mystic like Gohan. No, he's not going to be Mystic. Holy went Mystic. See, it's not going to be Mystic. Everyone keeps assuming it's going to be Mystic. It's not going to be a Mystic form, guys. I mean... I want to know what you guys have to say, but let's let's see here. Jiren isn't the only powerful one to hurt Goku. People are, are fighting to f uh, save their universe and like hitting other fighters. Each universe has their number one fighter. Uh, isn't Universe Two and Eleven twins? So they sh uh, so shouldn't somebody in Universe Two be so strong? Also, uh, but I also do believe that Jiren or Hit will do this to Goku. I think that it's going to be all, the, all all of the above. I think that Goku's going to get mollywopped, and uh, at that given point. There is going to be no way out except for breaking his limits. In which he even promised Topo that one time he fought Topo, he was like, allow me to show you what it's like when I break past my limits. So we're going to have to wait and see there. Another form Vegeta won't get. Damn, man. I mean, everyone's agreeing here. And, and poor little Vegeta and not getting anything, man. 
But I mean, what are your overall thoughts on this form, guys? What do you think it is? Is it Mystic form? Is it Ultimate form? Is it Mastered Super Saiyan God? Is it Mastered Kaioken? Is it in fact Super Saiyan White? Is it Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan 2? What do you guys think it is? Comment down below and let me know, guys. Thank you all for watching, as always. If you guys are hyped for this form, if you guys are hyped for the Tournament of Power, guys, go on ahead and slap a like on this video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to go on ahead and leave a, and, and leave a like down below and also subscribe for more daily content, guys, for more news, information, and updates. Turn on notifications. That way, you guys are always notified whenever I post a video on this channel. Tune back in for more. Again, as you guys can already see, I mean, there, there, there are lots and lots of people hyped for this. Some people are saying that uh, Goku is just copping out and some people really feel bad for Vegeta. But I want to know your thoughts down below as to what you guys think about this. Thank you all for watching, guys. Once again, tune back in for more. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.